Hey guys, it is Wednesday, August something. I have no idea. I am here in Bosnia and this is my, technically my second full day here. We came here on Monday night and it's Wednesday now. So I am so happy. I feel so at peace. And I feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. It just feels like home. I'm with my mom's family here in a separate city. My dad is with my aunt and uncle um, at our house, which I will give you guys a tour in a couple days of. But I'm here in the city where my grandma lives, my only grandma. We spent the last day with her, and now my other uncle on my mom's side, and us, my mom and my brother, we just went to a pool in the local city, and it is gorgeous. However, I'm on my period, so I'm not going in the water. I'm reading The Housemaid, drinking a Coke. Nishta. Nishta. Izledate ko idiot. And I'm watching them swim and look like idiots. So, yeah. I just wanted to report. It is a Thursday and we are on the way to Sarajevo, which is the capital of Bosnia, and we are getting ready for the Sarajevo Film Festival. I'm a huge, huge, huge follower of the film industry, as you guys know. I love film, I want to be an actress, and I get to go and see the festival and there's going to be amazing actors there all over from Europe and amazing films and it's just going to be amazing and I love Sarajevo, so here is my outfit. I got this dress from Shein for $20. And I think it's beautiful and I'm pairing it with these white heels and some jewelry and I'm so excited This is like an opportunity of a lifetime So let's go. I'm back from my grandma's by the way. I was there two days and now I'm at my house a little bit away from my grandmother This is the house where my dad grew up and this is where I sleep by the way And yeah, I'm so excited. I've also gotten used to Bosnia. I'm very very comfortable now I was a little bit, you know, off edge when I first got here just because I am Canadian and I do stand out like a sore thumb But I'm very I feel very at home here and it's just such a, such a different lifestyle such a slow lifestyle and it's beautiful I love my dear Canada as well, but it's so different here. Anyways, let me show you my outfit <laughs> Friday, August 18th. I did a quick little update for you guys yesterday, very, very quickly because I was in a rush. So I'm sorry if that none of it made sense, but I got ready into my dress because we went to the Sarajevo Film Festival and it was incredible. I am in love with the film industry all the time, every day, every minute. And when I found out that the film festival would be happening while I'm here in Bosnia, I made my family go and I do not regret it at all. It was beautiful and amazing. I love going to Sarajevo no matter what. Like last time I was here in 2019, we went to Sarajevo just to like see all the stuff and like, you know, it's like any other big city. You just want to explore it. 
but this was so different. We went at night and this film festival was going on and there was the red carpet and I tried to film a little bit of it. I took a bunch of pictures and it was just the fact that Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt walked on that red carpet years ago. I just can't believe it. And the fact that I was there and I saw all the films that were submitted and nominated for the film festival, I got to take a quick glance and I saw one actor walking um, from a, and he was from, he played um, Jebra in Ludz Bunya Normalen, which is a Bosnian show. And I couldn't believe that I saw him and it was just incredible. It was so fun. It was so fun. I cannot believe I got to see that. So I'm so, 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 so grateful. And I also got to walk down Sarajevo, walk through Sarajevo. I got to have amazing chivape. That's the best place to have chivape. And we took a bunch of pictures and it was just, it was incredible. Anyways, I'm sorry for this long ramble, but I just wanted to update you on yesterday. I'm so grateful I got to see it. And I will definitely be going back to Sarajevo throughout this trip just because I want to explore more of this city rather than the film festival now that it's over. So, you know, throughout this trip and in, in this month, I will go back to Sarajevo just to go to other places in the city and explore other things during the day. Anyways, now it's Friday and I'm gonna do a quick little get, get ready with me. I think they're gonna like rush me out of the house any second. We just have little errands to do and see some people and people just keep stopping by our house and saying hi, like all these people that I know and that I don't know. It's just, everybody knows us and I'm so grateful that I'm so famous here. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna do a quick little get ready with me for you guys because I think I wanna do some makeup. And this is my outfit. I love this shirt so much. And these Levi's shorts. And don't worry, at one point in this trip, I will show you guys a house tour. But right now I'm in a rush, so let's just, just let's just do some quick makeup. Okay, I should probably put some sort of moisturizer on my face. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, I found a moisturizer. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm very uncomfortable in this spot, but I have nowhere else to film, so this is gonna do. Um, we have some moisturizer from a hotel that I got months ago, so I don't know if this is even good for my skin, but sorry, I'm not the best. Um, makeup youtuber person anyways how's your guys's day I'm so happy to be here I love this country so much and I feel so at home when I'm here and it's just amazing and I'm so grateful all the time so grateful all the time and yeah like I said yesterday I'm starting to really feel comfortable here at first I was a little you know nervous just because I'm a city girl and I just sometimes feel like I don't fit in but Everybody treats me with so much respect and they just treat me like any other Bosnian so I'm so grateful that they don't see me as some spoiled Canadian girl, you know, because I'm not. I have some great things in my life but I never take it for granted and I'm always, I'm always scared that somebody will see me in a different light but again that's not something I can control so I feel like I shouldn't be nervous about that so it's something I'm working on. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of foundation but I feel like first I should put on some sunscreen. Oh god, I'm a mess. Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Grace. Incredible blush. Incredible, incredible. idea how this blush looks like I'm literally only relying on you guys as my mirror so okay we're gonna just quickly curl them oh god how can I curl them like this I can't even see where are my eyelashes uh, I don't even know I'm so sorry I'm so hectic whatever that should do okay I'm using the Ilia travel kit mascara I got this as a birthday gift from Sephora and honestly, I really like it. It's so good. Oh god, how am I gonna do this?
Monday, August 21st, I think. I'm not sure. Um, it is pretty much like a full week that we've been here in Bosnia and I cannot believe a week has flown by but at the same time it feels like I've been here my whole life so I have no idea um, but I just got ready for the day I have some cute pink makeup however my skin is horrendous on this trip I don't know what it is if it's the like jet lag like my diet change like the fact that I'm not exercising as much you know it's just my skin is so dry and cakey and I don't know why my makeup looks like that because probably my skin is bad so I have no idea but hopefully it gets better I have my hair in a cute little ponytail I have a Barbie shirt on and this cute amazing guest denim skirt and then I'm probably gonna wear some wedges or flip-flops on my bottoms on my bottoms on my feet I don't know anyways I'm ready for the day I'm going to my grandma's today and I'm gonna stay there probably for a night or two because I haven't seen her in a couple of days so I'm gonna go see her and other than that there's not many plans for today so yeah just wanted to update you okay goodbye never mind not goodbye I just wanted to quickly tell you oh well, that's cute that's such a good angle um finished the housemaid. I have this much left. This is like a crazy book. That's all I have to say. It's a crazy book and I've been annotating my whole reading experience. All I have to say is read this book. Read it. Once I finish it, I'm probably gonna make a book review on it here in Bosnia because how cool would that be to get a book review from me in a completely different continent? Anyways, I'm gonna finish this book today, probably at my grandma's. Anyways, I gotta go. Bye, love you. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, August something, and we are at the pool again. And this time I can swim and I have my favorite drink, Yana Vitamin Happy in orange flavor, best flavor. That is. That's a different type of drink. This is the vitamin water. We are a vitamin. No, son. That's just regular juice. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it is Thursday. Here's Nico. And we had an incredible day. First up, I shook hands with the mayor of the city we're in right now, which was crazy. And then I shook hands with the ex-president of Bosnia and he kissed my hand and he was like the sweetest man ever. Yeah, you weren't there for this, he's confused, but this man used to be the president of this country and he literally kissed my hand, Nico, he kissed my hand. He was the sweetest guy ever and he gave me advice and everything, it was amazing. But he gave you what? Advice, do you oh. know what that means? It's when like somebody gives you like, Mm, how do I explain it? Like, like, like he was telling me important stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought you were giving me candy. No, he didn't give me candy. <laughs> but he was so sweet. So I met the mayor and, and a man that used to be the president of this country this morning, before my breakfast. Um, and now I'm about to show you, in front of our house, I painted this wooden table that my uncle and my dad made. Don't tell them, just sh show them. I, Okay, <laughs> I will. First, I need to tell you though, but yeah, I painted most of it. We need to buy another can of paint and then we're gonna finish it. But I painted the whole table, yeah. most of the table. <laughs> Just me. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna show you guys. Are we gonna show them? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> wait, can you like block the screen? Wait, wait, wait. Why? No, you show them, because like the wood's doing something. Okay, okay. There it is. So this part I didn't paint yet, but the brown, this dark brown, that's what I painted so far. Right, Nico? Do you like it? Do you think it looks good? Mm -hmm. This is my house, by the way, which I'll give you a tour of some point during this trip. Here it is. I painted all of this. My dad and my uncle made this though. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so then tomorrow or the day after, I will paint this part. And then it's done. 
This is my oiko. <laughs> Okay, that's it, you guys. That's the update for now. That's my table. What? And my incredible day. I had an incredible day today. Tomorrow, we're going on like a hike. Right, Nico? Early yeah, in the morning. Yeah, we're going on a mountain. We're literally going on the top of this hill. I'll show you. And we're going really early in the morning. Oh, and I also met a professional footballer. Yesterday, Nico, we met a professional soccer player. Did you know that? No. Yeah. We, I posted on Inst on my Instagram story, I met Petar Boyo, which is a guy that my family knows. He's really sweet and young, and he is a soccer player. And we're gonna watch his game on Wednesday, I believe. <laughs> and he was the sweetest thing, and he started following me, so yeah. I'm, I'm still here. Yeah, he's still here. So I met a lot of famous people in the past 24 hours, just saying. Um, and anyways, we're going on this hike with him tomorrow. How lucky am I? Anyways. That's it, you guys. That's really it. That's all. I just wanted to update you the on the- The shortest video. The short- well, this is part of a vlog. Do you know what a vlog is? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, I just wanted to update you on all the famous people I've met and the table that I painted. And, yeah. Okay, goodbye.